Today we are looking at the updated audio player by EdTech Team, which is going to put background music onto your Google Slides. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, the audio player for Google Slides by EdTech Team has gone through a major renewal. It is now an independent standalone extension for your Chrome browser. Now I know what you're thinking, what difference does that make and why do I have to change from an add-on to an extension? Well I'm going to walk you through exactly why you would want to do that. You can find the updated extension on www.audio4slides.com. I will leave a link in the description below so you can easily click on that and then you will select install audio player for slides. Now you'll walk through the steps of installing the extension and once you've done that you will see it up in the top right corner and when you click on it you will see audio player for slides you're good to go that means you can start using it now where are we going to use this in our Google Drive of course so go ahead and click on new we are going to create a new Google Slides and for the sake of this demonstration I am going to need six slides. So I'm going to go ahead and create six slides in this slideshow. So this will be my first slide and then I'm going to add a second slide which is going to be second slide and so on and so on. Now the reason I'm adding six slides is because with the new extension there is a lot of new functionality that has become available when using this extension. So we have slide two, slide three. Now just as before with the add-on, the extension is going to look in your Google Drive for audio files. Now I've already uploaded a number of MP3 files so I can demonstrate the new functionality. Now just for the sake of making it look a bit nicer, I'm going to select one of these themes. There we go, I'll leave it like this. And I can now start adding audio. Now, previously you would have to go into your add-on menu and then select a track. And all you could do is play the track in the background and that was it. Now it kept on playing no matter which slide you were on and that was all that you could do. Now with the new one it's very simple. You simply right click on your slide and you see there's now a new option which says manage audio. So let's go ahead and select this option. Now you can record audio, upload, refresh the page. Now I've already got my songs that I want to use in here. So for the first slide I'm going to select better days. Now you can preview it by clicking on the play button. There we go and as you can hear the music starts playing. I'm going to pause it and select the track by clicking on the title. Now once you've clicked, there are three options. Now the first option is one slide. You also have multiple slides and background audio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate one slide. So that means the audio will play on slide one and it stops when I go to slide two. So go ahead and apply. There we go, this is now linked. I'm going to exit this menu. Now to make it easy for us, we immediately get an extra icon that you can see here on the left hand side and this indicates that there is already a background track right there on the slideshow. So go ahead and go to the second slide, right click on the slide and select manage audio. Now for this one I'm going to select a different track, days like these, let's go ahead and select this track and let's have a look at what happens when we select multiple slides. Now this is the same audio file on multiple slides, however it starts over on each slide. So I'm going to demonstrate what this sounds like on slide two and three. Now as you can see in my menu, I cannot select slide one. Now the reason for that is because slide one already has a track. So we can simply skip that. I select two and three and we're going to apply. Done, I can now close this menu. Now. Before we move on to the third option, let's preview what's going to happen. On slide one, we're going to have one track. On slide two, it's going to be a second track. And that same track is going to start over on slide three. So let's see what that looks like in real time. Let's go ahead and present. First slide, first track starts playing. Now I'm going to go to the second slide. Now the second slide has a different track. And because I've selected multiple slides, it's going to start over when I go to the third slide. There we go, as you can hear, it starts over. 
Now this is great when you're using sound effects or when you're trying to add the same track to multiple slides and you need just the beginning of a track. For the final three slides, I'm going to use the third option. So let's go ahead and go to slide four, right click on my slide, manage audio, select a different track yet again, beyond, and select background audio. Now the biggest difference between multiple slides and background audio is that multiple slides will start over on each individual slide. Background audio is going to continuously play across those slides. So let's select the final three slides, four, five, and six. We apply this. Now, if you're wondering where these tracks came from, you can always check out the description below. Now, these are some great tracks from wonderful producers, and you can find links to their channels in the description. So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. Present. This is the one slide option, so we can hear one track on one slide. The second slide has the multiple slides option. So the track is going to start over when I go to the third slide. As you can hear, uh, that happens correctly. Now when I go to the next slide, you will hear a new track play. Now you can hear the track is playing. And I'm going to go over into slide five and the track will continue to play. It is not going to start over. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to let the track play a little bit so that you can hear that it carries on even when I go to slide six. There we go, the beat is there and now I'm going to go to slide six and it's that same track. So as you can see and hear, an amazing update to what used to be an add-on it is now an extension for your Chrome browser, which makes it so much more powerful. Let me know in the comment section below, how are you going to use this? Are you as excited as I am about these extra options? And what else would you like to see added to the extension? I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.